Howdy Ags, we're located in College Station, Texas, home of Texas A&M University, where in just two short weeks will be the 62nd Beef Cattle Short Course. Hope to see you there. Good evening, friends, and welcome to Let's Talk Cattle. I'm Judd Colors of Hunger for Texas, owner of Heritage Cattle Company, and we appreciate you being with us tonight. Tonight's a privilege to have with us Dr. Jason Clear from Texas A&M University. Dr. Clear is a beef cattle extension specialist and a professor at Texas A&M University. Jason, appreciate you being with us tonight. Glad to be here. Thanks for having uh, me. I was thinking on the way up here, one of the first times that I'd met Jason, and and I, I remember back about six years ago, and, and uh, my family raises Brahmin cattle, so my daughters always show Brahmin heifers, and we decided we were gonna get a steer one year and bought one from Richard Johnson over there at Norman G and had a Simbral steer, and uh, it was my turn to take it to Fort Worth and didn't know much about anything, and so uh, this guy right here, uh, I think I even had a pick comb in my back pocket and a blower. And <laughs> remember that? You looked official. Yeah, I looked official. I didn't I have a lot of play. Yeah, a little <laughs> exactly. I didn't have the knee pads on, but I thought about actually buying some, and really glad I didn't. But uh, uh, yeah, so Jason came over and gave me some pointers on on uh, how to blow this steer out and and comb its hair the right way. So. Uh, uh, all my uh, all my accomplishments uh, in the steer business are credited to this guy right here. But uh, since then, we've been longtime friends, and I really appreciate appreciate you being on the on the show tonight. How's your summer going so far? Going well. It's getting hot here in Texas. It is definitely getting hot. Have you floated the the river or done anything fun? No, we're going to the beach uh, in two weeks. Two Spend weeks. A little time doing nothing. Right. Absolutely. Well, that's good. Uh, I bet you've had a busy summer getting some things up and rolling for your for your uh, beef cattle short course coming up. Absolutely. The uh, summer kind of calms down on the campus of Texas A&M, but it's really busy in my shop because we are getting ready for the the uh, annual Texas A&M beef cattle short course coming up August 7th through the 9th here on campus. And folks, you you won't want to miss that. Uh, I've had the privilege to attend that several times myself and and uh, Lord willing if I'm in town, I'll be here again. Uh, Tell us a little bit about the history of it. This is not the first time that you've had one of these. Yeah, we're working on our 63rd annual uh, Texas A&M Beef Cattle Short Course. So it's been going on a long time and it's really a big part of our uh, history here at Texas A&M and, and it's a tradition here on campus. And uh, you know, it started back as, you know, the, the foundation started the same as it is today. I mean, we were basically trying to take the research, mm -hmm. uh, the advanced technology, the new technology, right. and bring it down to the level where a rancher can utilize it in their operation. And uh, it's changed and evolved over time. Sure. Uh, it actually got away from that a little bit uh, and got probably too scientific. Uh, at, at, a, at a point in time in history back in the 80s mm -hmm. and uh, attendance dwindled and uh, because it just wasn't as applied to the average rancher. And Dr. Larry Bowman in uh, 1990 he uh, was asked to take it over and uh, brought it back to the grassroots approach sure. and uh, from that point on he grew it and uh, he was in charge of it for 14 years and uh, then in 2005, I took it over, and this will be my 13th year. Became your baby after that. It did. It well, I tell you what, it's it's uh, it's a tremendous thing for for those of us that, that do ranch, and for those who are even thinking about ranching. Um, there's a lot of various topics that are discussed during that program, uh, during those three days, and you know, I feel like if you're if you're just starting or you've been in it all your life, there's just always something that you know you can gain from from attending and, and just kind of the cutting edge uh, of knowledge and listening to the speakers. What are some of the topics uh, just off the top of your head that we'll be discussing this year? Yeah, we, you know, the Beef Cattle Short Course, uh, we, we try to put together a program that is, you know, tailored towards uh, the Texas and the U.S. beef industry. And to do that, you got to make sure the topics you have 
or for producers that represent the the uh, Texas and U.S. beef industry. So we, you know, and it's interesting. Every year we try to evaluate and look at the mm -hmm. short course and see, you know, what producers are coming, and uh, we get, you know, from the small producer that's just got a few head of cattle, all the way up to those that you know have thousands of head of cows. And so it really is, is a reflection of the demographics of our beef industry here. And so we, we have a mix of, of folks that are new, you know, sure. need some basic beef cattle production management. And then we have the folks that have been in it for 50 years that really need that cutting edge, trying to get a little bit, maybe shave production costs or, you know, look at new technology. And so when you have that, you've got a variety of different programs. And right. So we have. Uh, concurrent sessions and we have 23 different concurrent wow. sessions this year that go on during that time and you know with that uh, those 23 different sessions uh, there's advanced as well as, as some basic production and um, and a wide variety of topics everything from you know we, we've got uh, basic forage management to basic just you know here's uh, right. beef production 101 Sure. We've got a couple of sessions on those that are mostly Q and A. Mm -hmm. You know, where producers can text in their their questions and get those answered, and then we get into topics like cow calf nutrition, reproduction, genetics, uh, marketing, those types of things. We even, you know, a few years ago we added a segment on landowner issues because we were having requests for people. You know, we, we need to know some, you know, we've got things where we've got a power line coming right. through or pipeline or sure. fencing laws. And so we've got uh, an attorney with the Texas A&M system that specializes in ag law. Oh, that's great. And that's so good information. It together. So yeah. a lot of different topics during yeah. that time. Good, good. Well, you know, I'm certainly looking forward to it. And as I know many of you uh, watching tonight are as well. So if you've got some time in your schedule there, the first part of August, give us those dates again. It's going to be August 7th through the 9th. 7th through the 9th. And, and there's, uh, we're going to go ahead and list uh, on tonight's episode the, uh, the email information, if that's okay. Absolutely. Our uh, website's beefcattleshortcourse.com. Perfect, perfect. Well, we'll, uh, we'll certainly uh, look forward to that. And, man, I just I appreciate you being with us tonight. Uh, let's talk a minute about the schedule of the beef cattle short course. Tell me whenever they first arrive at campus, what's going to happen? Yeah, we start off early Monday morning. We usually have breakfast at uh, 6.30 in the morning and uh, folks come in, get registered uh, in advance there and uh, pick up their materials and then we have breakfast right there in our trade show. One of the things we have is a huge trade show. We'll have about 140 vendors. It could be equipment, it could be, you know, uh, medicine, vaccinations, whatever it, you know, that applies to the beef sure. industry. So they'll get the opportunity to go through that, spend some time there. And then the classes start promptly at, at uh, 8 a.m. And uh, so Monday morning we'll have some concurrent sessions. Monday afternoon we'll have our general session where everybody comes together. We're sure. going to talk about the export markets and how that's going to impact us over the coming years and kind of highlight the China deal that a lot of people are talking about. Tuesday we got two more rounds of concurrent sessions. And then Wednesday, everybody's kind of had enough classroom time right. by the time they get past Monday and Tuesday. So we go out to our centers, as far as our, our, our extension research centers, teaching centers. And so we'll go and we'll do some, see some demonstrations on cattle handling, cattle working, you know, collecting blood, DNA on cattle, fence building demonstration, you know, purchasing tractors, you know, brush busting. We'll do a carcass demo where they'll fab out a carcass. So there's a lot of uh, no, more really demo is. type yeah. things yeah. on that Wednesday, and then we'll wrap up about noon that day. So. I think, I mean, I think that just that hands-on approach. You know, there's so many times where, you know, I'll get calls, you'll get calls of of just the the common things of of everyday occurrences on a ranch, and the fact that you guys are hitting on some of that, I think that's going to be just you know very informative to to the people that attend. And I think that's good that you're covering those things. Well, man, I don't want to take any more of your time, but I really appreciate you being on on our episode of Let's Talk Cattle tonight. This, you know, this is our fourth one, and uh, we've kind of highlighted this one for you because we know that you know you kind of come in as this rock star of Texas A&M, and <laughs> and uh, hope you boost our ratings. Well, but uh, I hope so. <laughs> all right. Well, you have a have a great day, man. Appreciate you. Thank you, Jeff. All right, folks. We want to remind you about our performance bull and heifer test going on. 
In fact, it started uh, on Saturday, July the 15th. And we want to remind you, if you've got some cattle that qualify for our test, if you'll go to my website, heritagecattle.com, uh, click, the, click the toolbar at the top that says Team Heritage. Uh, there's your ap application there, all the information that you'll need to get signed up, get connected in with our, our second test, which will be starting in October. Uh, we really want you to be a part of that and, and, and let us help you uh, add value to your next calf crop. Uh, again, appreciate you tuning in with us tonight, and uh, as always, it's a pleasure. God bless. <laughs>